Tucker, stop by. I've got work for you. Tuck, hey, okay. I'll see if I can make time deacon out. This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. I grew up in these here woods. My grandfather taught me all about hunting. Funny how it still works in a world... ...he never would have dreamed of. I built my first treehouse to use as a deer blind. Getting height on your target helps your aim and keep... first doe from up top. Today, my camp's up in the trees. You want to survive and can contribute. You come to me. We got you covered. Grandfather also taught me to catch a doe. Sometimes you gotta lay an ambush. Hide where they need to go. Like a watering hole. Today, you're as likely to be prey as hunter. So you gotta keep your eyes peeled when you're hitting up places we all need to go. Hey, booze man. I brought in some meat. Should keep us stocked up for a while. Hey, Deke, thanks, man. I'm not real hungry right now. I'll, I'll salt it up in a bit. Good. They won't let me leave. Why would you want to leave? It's safe here. I have to work. Okay. help you? Deke, uh, I, I need you to go after someone. Go after someone? Okay, what's going on? Right after you brought in that girl, Lisa. Larson brings in another one. Name was Rose Allen, a weak little thing. But we figured she could pull her own weight, help us get this irrigation ditch done. Uh, okay, so what do you, what do you need? She's gone. 
She went on a supply run with al some others up to that abandoned Nero refugee camp. You know, the one, I, I think you've been up there before. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah, I know the one. Find her, Deke. There's been a bunch of drifters and squatters spotted up that way. If, if they find her first... Yeah, 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 okay, I'm, I'm gonna see what I can do. says that I shouldn't come up here anymore. He keeps asking me what goods I do, and, and maybe he's right, I don't know. He got hurt pretty bad the other day. We ran into some rippers who burned the hell out of his arm, and it looks pretty bad. I broke into one of those, uh, uh, what the hell do you call them? The mobile medical units? I mean, I got him sterile bandages. And I hope it's enough, you know? But... Boozer, you know, he says he's fine, but I, I don't I don't think so. Shit looks pretty bad to me. See, the thing is, it was on me. I risked his life for a bike part. Goddamn bike part. Not that it mattered, and son of a bitch Copeland parted it out anyway. <sighs> Took me a year to put that bike together. You would have liked it. It's not as nice as the one that I taught you to ride on, but it got me around. You remember that tank that you had painted for me? Well, that was the only thing left of that old hog, and now it's gone, too. As soon as we get it back together, I, my bike, I mean, and we'll get Boozer patched up, we're gonna ride north. Fresh start. Yeah, a lot of memories around here. Too many. Anyway, I guess I'm just saying that, uh... I might not see you again, you know?
Here you get this. That's it. Rose Allen, right? No, no! Hey, 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 I'm not gonna hurt you. See, I'm, uh, I'm not with those assholes. No, no! God damn it, I'm here to help. Tucker sent me. Wait, wait, I said that I am here to help you. No, you're with her. You're from the work camp. No, no, I'm with Tucker. I, uh, I, I do runs for, yeah. They starved me. I wouldn't follow her orders, so they wouldn't feed me. Well, I mean, it's a work camp. I mean, everyone's got to work. I'm not a slave. I'm not going back, do you hear me? I'd rather die out here. Okay, 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 goddammit. Go on.
Tucker. Tucker. Deacon St. John Day. Deacon St. John Day ate a Tucker. Deke, did you find her? Uh, yeah. Yeah, Tuck, I found her and... Uh, she's on her way back. Wait, you let her go? Alone? Well, she took one of the squatter's bikes. She yeah. said that she was gonna be able to find her way. She, look, she didn't want my help. Oh, God damn it, Deke. You should have brought her in. Why? Talk why? Is there something wrong? I mean, is there some reason she wouldn't want to come back? She doesn't have a goddamn clue about what's out there. Well, I don't know, Talk. Maybe she does. St. John out. Marauder patrol. Oh, shit. They're getting away. Go after who, Tuck? Slow down. It's Roach. It's Roach. You know him. He used to ride with Leon and Alvarez. But I trusted him. Oh, God damn it, Tuck. You shouldn't have. No. He's taking the rest of our drugs and headed north. My boys lost him somewhere around Marion Forks. <laughs> All right. I'll see if I can track it down. Uh, we uh, tr Bring them all down on me.
through chemistry. How's it going, buddy? See? Told you I wasn't gonna kill you. Uh, uh, Deke, no. 
No, oh, I, I didn't do nothing. Oh. Oh. Nah, that's not what Tucker says. I guess when Leon and Alvarez took off with the camp's drugs, they forgot to cut you in. Is that about it? No! Deep! No! No, no, no! Clue me in on what you're thinking, man. I, I want to understand. You you took what was left while the old woman wasn't looking? Oh, Deke! Uh, I got nothing on me, okay? Search me! Uh. <laughs> no, I'm not. It's not my job. I'm gonna leave that up to Alki. Hey, Tuck, I got Deke, him. Uh, Mark down these don't coordinates leave me here. and have Alki Heard what you did to Leon, okay, Deke? I, I Come on, Did he have my drugs? Well, yeah, he's alive. But if you want to stay that way, I'll hurry up. Remember, you and out. me, we were safe. John out. Please, please. Hey, I don't want to yeah. die. Yeah, the, don't leave me out here. Crazy question. Come on, untie hey, me. Where I can find oh, damn underrag. you! God damn you! The kid I brought in, just trying to find a way to cheer her up. She mentioned having one. Shit, I don't know. Check the gift shop at Belknap Crater. I don't know. Maybe Harry of Forks. Yeah, okay. Thanks. Learn something every day. I can't fix this. It should work.
Lisa, I... Go away. Brought you something. That's beautiful. Will you take me with you? Take me back to Marion Forks. Look, I, I can't because it's not safe. I gotta turn in. They make us get up really early for work. Deacon St. John, come in. Deke, you out there? Hey, Cope. Yeah, let me guess. You got a job for me. Okay. Uh, I'll swing by when I get a chance. Deacon out. That's it. Hey, uh, you're not answering the radio. Yep. I oh, know, I was... Oh, oh, oh. No, I'm all right, I'm all right. Just trying to get clear, you know? You're burning up. Oh, my head's pounding like a mother. You're burning up. No, 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 I'm just, I'm just tired. Okay, stay here, rest. I'll think of something. Look, I don't need a goddamn babysitter, I'm fine. Here, come here, I'll show you what you're looking for. Uh, yep, found it. <laughs> All right, come on, focus. I am focused. All right, so this one is called Lavandula Angustifolia. Lavender? Yes, well, I'm still paying off my student loans, so I will stick with Latin, mm -hmm. but you could call it that. Yeah, get your money's worth, go for it. <laughs> okay, come on, give me your hand. <laughs> All right, so you want to put one hand around the flower. All right. And then put the other hand at the stem. Okay. Just like that, and then you pull nice and slow. Yeah, I pulled weeds before. Uh, excuse me, sir, this is not a weed. You have to be gentle. And blood apply pressure. Oh, yeah, but not too hard. <laughs> okay, ready? Mm-hmm. Yeah. There you go, that's perfect. <laughs> and it doesn't smell very good. Okay, you hold on to those, and I'm going to collect more. <laughs> so, uh, why lavender? Well, the guys at the lab are pretty excited. They, they think they have this subspecies, which might have mutated monoterpenoids, which produce a modified linalool that... That is so... Oh, my... Thank you, Einstein. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry. It has a chemical that we can use to synthesize a new medicine for burn patients. 
Where I'm from, the only weed used for medicine is the kind that you smoke. You know, Boozer knows a guy with a farm that's about three miles up the road. Oh, that's great. Boozer's gonna wind up in prison and take you with him. <laughs> so what else do you guys make? Like chemical weapons, WMDs, shit like that? No, 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 no. Well, at least not me. Yeah? It's in my contract. None of my research can be used for military purposes. Wait, stop. Oh, come on, the water's yeah. gonna be great. Hold, hold on, hold on. What's wrong? Well, I, I didn't mean stop that. <laughs> come on, what is it? It's a long story. Well, that's okay. We can just walk. I like walking. <laughs> so, why don't you tell me about your plants? Really? Okay. Well, this particular genus is adventitious. You want me to ask? It means not native to this area. You can thank Ogden for that. Who? Oh, shit, I asked. Peter Skeen Ogden, first explorer to come through this part of Oregon. He and some of the other early explorers brought all their medicinal herbs and plants with them. Some got away, and now they're growing here. Mostly along the shores of small lakes and ponds. First white explorer? Wow, look at you. Being all politically correct. Don't buy into all the biker stereotypes you see on TV. We are actually quite charming. I bet. The MC's got a couple of brothers, one fully patched. I don't think I've seen one person of color since I arrived in your strange little backwater paradise. Yeah, Jack actually had some guys bust in from Sacramento just to piss off our skinhead rivals. He did not. <laughs> No, he did not. I'm kidding. Jersey Jim's an old buddy of mine. Patched him and myself. We served in the same unit. Come by the clubhouse Sunday. I'll show you around. You like the guy. He's funny as shit. He makes a mean margarita. Well, I have to be in the lab early on Monday, so... I'll have us back in your bed by ten. I promise. How can I refuse an offer like that? <sighs> okay, you try picking some now. Lavender. You, you want me to pick lavender? Yep. And bring me three plants and don't... Oh, I'm gonna crush him. <laughs> Come on. Uh, got one. Good for you. This one? Yep, keep going. Last one. Great, bring him here. <sighs> oh. <laughs> Good for you. Wow, gallantry is alive and farewell after all. Mm. If it's not, then I didn't kill him. <laughs> hey! Oh, oh, oh. Aww, poor guys. Hey, is that the one we're gonna smoke later? No, but this is the one we're gonna drink. I make this killer herbal tea with it. I'll bet. <laughs> <laughs> hey! All right, if you come over, then I will make it for you, as long as you give me a ride home. All right, great. You're gonna be a believer. And we'll grab a beer from myself on the way over. <laughs> Sorry, uh, I'm a little out of it. What, you said something? It's, uh, it's something Sarah showed me a few summers ago before. Yeah, anyway, uh, there's a plant that grows out here called lavender. It grows in the shade, along rivers, lake shores. I'm gonna see if I can find some. Shit, brother. The way my arm's feeling, I'll try anything, but fuck the lavender. Bring something I can smoke. Whatever. I'm gonna find some of this shit. I'm gonna make a burn sap out of it, and you're gonna shut the hell up about it. Sorry, brother. Just going stir crazy up here, you know. Ah, don't worry, Moose man. We're riding north. I swear to God, not too much longer. You hear me? Yeah. Now. Deke, you there? I grabbed 
texted you a couple of items if you want to swing by. Booze, man? Thank you, brother. Uh, I'll be by. I need these. Okay, here we go. Hey, Boozer. Uh, God damn it! Uh, it's a funny thing. I, I was remembering how uh, a few summers back, Sarah took me out to Bear Creek. To, we were picking lavender and... Uh, she Listen. taught. <laughs> she taught me how to make this sap for burns and. Uh, look, I got out today. Okay. I actually had to look around the mountain. I cleared some traps. The arm's almost as good as new. All right. Okay. I'm just gonna leave it right here. Hey. hey. Just give me a couple days. Okay. Just we'll ride up north like you said and get out of this shithole. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, I'm here. What's up? We got hit. And hard. Rippers. A couple of dozen, maybe more. Goddamn rippers. That little gal you were so worried about? Yeah, Lisa. Wait, hold on. What happened? Where's Lisa? Gone. They took her and three others. Alki followed them as far as he could. But they're holed up at Belknap Crater. He came back to round up more men, but... God damn it! Okay, look, I've seen what those sons of bitches do to hostages. I'm not waiting. I guess I'm just distracted. Come by any time. Okay. Let's not by any time. To fix this piece of crap. When you get the gate, what's the problem? That's all I got for now. Hey, Deke. How's life in the shit? Hey, Jazzy. How's my favorite bounty collector? Yep. Hey, uh, Deke. Deek. You listen to me, Good. okay? Got something Stay you might safe. be interested in. Yeah, don't bet on it, Cope. I'm busy. Too busy to hear about a ripper camp? Here? In the Cascade Wilderness? Rippers up here? <sighs> Where? Thought you might be interested. I heard how you and Boozer got hit by him. In fact, I haven't seen Boozer around much, have I? Where, Cope? Up by Separation Meadow. Flack, you know her, don't you? Saw him firsthand. Past their camp when she was out on a supply run. Don't worry. <sighs> I'll take care of them. Who's man are you awake? Boozer. Yeah, Deke. Just feeling a little happy. See me. What I can do. Look, I'm on my way up to Separation Meadow. Cope says there's a ripper camp up there. Rippers? This far north? Yeah, Boozer. What the hell's going on with these guys? Alki said the rippers were looking for us. That we had a price on our head. What the hell? How's that possible? I mean, 
Sure, I've, I've killed my share of crazy bastards, but I never went out of my way. Uh, not that I remember. Yeah, that's what I thought. Uh, rippers. Deacon out. Why are you up here? You look out for me. Well, you found me. Nope, it's done. The river's up. Up here won't bother anyone ever again. Oh, St. John, that's good news. I talked to Manny the other day, some of the others. I know you've been doing things for the camp. I just wanted to say thank you. Mark Copeland out. There? 
find that Ripper camp? Yeah, Boozer. I found it. You think... You think they were up here looking for us? I don't know, Boozman. I was too busy stopping them from cutting my eyes out to ask. Sorry, brother. I wish I'd been there. Sure, man. Yeah, I know. Deacon out.
this way. She's got to this way. This has got to be up there. What did you drop? I'm coming, kid. Lisa. Lisa? Hey. Sweetheart. No! Hey, hey! No! hey. Shut up! Shut up! Lisa, it's me. It's Deacon. Remember? Deacon? Okay. All right. That's all right. It's all right. Come on. You okay? Damn it, can you run? Do you know where the visitor center is? All right, that's where my bike is. I need you to run air as fast as you can. Don't stop. Don't stop. Right, don't stop, no matter what. You ready? Huh? Go. Lisa, 
Run. Listen to me, to the south of here, there's a camp at Lost Lake. It's nothing like the Hot Springs. Iron Mike, he's not like Mrs. Tucker. I hated Mrs. Tucker. <laughs> no, you wouldn't be alone there. This is a nice camp, and it's a safe place. Okay. <sighs> Hold on. Ricky! Ricky, come back. Ricky, are you still on this channel? Lost Lake Camp, come in. Deacon? Ugh, long time no here. What do you want? Just meet me, okay? On the Cascade Highway where it intersects with the old Belknap Road. I'm heading there now. You know what Iron Mike said? The night you and Booze rode out of here? Uh, oh uh, yeah, that. Uh, listen. That's why I radioed you and not Schizo. Iron Mike doesn't even have to know about this. I got a kid here. What? Well, I mean, not a kid. Uh, a survivor. She's been out here a long time. A, a, you've got a survivor, and you're bringing her to Lost Lake. No, you're bringing her to Lost Lake. I'm bringing her to you. Ricky, you there? Yeah, okay. I'm on my way. Lost Lake out. Ricky? Uh, yeah, okay, you're welcome. You're gonna like it there, kid. So like I said, Iron Mike, he's, um, uh, he likes to yell a lot. Look, don't let him bother you. Got that? Uh, anyway, there's this guy named Schizo. If he bothers you at all, well, just tell Ricky. Hey, Ricky. Hey, Deke. I'm surprised. What, did Tucker give up the slave trade? Uh, Lisa, this is uh, Ricky. She's going to uh, take you to a safe place. Nothing has changed, Deke. Iron Mike is not going to pay you for this. Pay me for? Oh, come on. That's not, excuse me. That's not what this is about. It's not about collecting a bounty or anything. You just, mm -hmm. you just take her. Huh? What's wrong with her, Deke? What's wrong with her? She was, had to run in with some rippers. I had to... Hey, Lisa. Hi, I'm Ricky. Listen, do you like to go fishing? I love fishing. It's, it's my favorite thing in the whole wide world. Would you want to go fishing with me? Yeah? Come on, I'm going to tell you about Lost Lake. It has the clearest water you have ever seen. And the fish, oh my god. The fish in the morning, they jump this high. I'll show you. When we go, we're gonna have such a good time. Make sure you hold on tight, okay? Ready? I really appreciate it.
Hot Springs to Deacon St. John. Tucker, I'm here. I expected you back by now. Did you find the girl, Lisa? They're coming. Oh, they're gonna... They won't know. Wait, they're on me. They're gonna... Wizard, what's going on? No! How'd you get in here? Whoa, 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 whoa. You stay right there! Wizard, it's me. Stay there. It's Deke. Let's just Don't calm down. Don't come any closer. Let's just I talk. will kill you. It's all right. Oh, oh, my God! With the gun. Ah! gun, buddy. No, I will not! Ah! Ah! Oh, shit. Oh, Jesus Christ. Boozer, what the fuck? I... I heard, I heard him. I heard voices. Oh shit! Oh, shit. I mean, you, you heard him, right? No, I didn't hear shit, Boozer. You no, got blood poisoning. I, I do not. Yes, you do, Boozer. Just take a look. I don't need to take a look. Come on, I'm... we gotta get you some help. Look, I don't need some. Come on. I don't need help. <sighs> I'm sorry about that. About trying to blow your head off. I mean, no, I thought I saw something, you know? Easy. Hey, watch the steps. I got this. I mean, it was it was in my head, you know? <clears throat> yeah, yeah, I know, I know. I could hear him, Deke. I I could hear him, Deke. Footsteps just pounded in my head. Boots. Just a few more steps. I don't need any help. I can goddamn walk. I can walk. Okay. Okay. I, I just. I don't. I don't know. Yeah. Now come on. Come on. Get on. We gotta go. Wait. 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 What? Where are we going? I, I don't. It's just a short ride, Boozer. It'll help clear your head, right? Yeah, yeah, okay. That'd be good. Here, okay. Where are we going? Deke, you remember when we first rode out of Farewell? What that was like? Yeah, I remember. The highways were, they were all choked up with cars. There were so many people. All on the move, thinking that if they could only go fast enough, that they'd outrun what was coming. Yeah. No one could move fast enough, Boozer. No one saw it coming the way I did. So by the time they said, fuck it, you know, and started walking, and then running, it's too late. Yeah, too late. And I remember watching the freaks. Watching them all come, thousands of them. And all those, all those dumb shits just got swallowed up. Yeah, I remember. When you see a thing like that, you know it's only a matter of time. Before it's our turn. Nothing's gonna stop it, Boozer. Not a goddamn thing, but... Wait, do you know why we keep going? No. Because what the hell else?
Stroll into the infirmary. No, 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 man. I'm just, just sick of it. Yeah. No, I don't care. I'm just fucking with you. Hey, Deke. Mm. Now Mike said he'd kill you if he ever saw you again. Uh, and if he said that it... That old man doesn't remember his name half the time. No, no, no. Hey, he'll hey. remember. You gotta stay awake. We're off the open road, but of a freaker oh, wonders. Yeah, 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 I know. Mm. All right. Hey, Deke. Yeah. Don't you kill anyone in the camp, okay? Not gonna kill anyone. You good? Never better. What's going on? Let's go get this fuck out of here. There's nothing here. I heard the bike, same as me. Huh? Probably some drifter. Not worth dragging me out here. Oh, shit. We're supposed to guard the camp, not wander around jerking off. The Coven Rippers. Oh, against the two of us. Really? We could get them before they. No, 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 no. You see, that's what we thought, too. Me and this guy, Addy's brother, we went out on patrol. We kept to the shadows. Tonight, the moon was out. We know rippers love the night. We heard them coming first. Shrieking like freakers. They were coming straight out of hell. God, that sound. And there were maybe four we could see. So we opened up on them. They don't, they don't even try not to get shot. Thing is, they weren't going down. They just kept running at us. My boy got one of them down, pulled his knife to finish the job. Shit, I should have told him to forget it. Two others climbed right on him. I fired him. Fired? Yeah, I killed him. They were tearing him apart like goddamn freakers. I fired and got the hell out of there. So, you go after Rippers, you better have back. Hey! What's up? Something's here. Anything? Who's How's that? it going? I'm seeing things. Nice and boring guard duty. Way it should be. What are you gonna do later? I'm gonna try to get some sleep. That's why. Yeah. That girl, Lisa. I saw her. someone. You know I saw someone? Nice. I'm doing fine. First few days, she kept me up all night. What's her deal? She just came in from the shit. Get her warm. Shit. Even money? Someone's here. Before a month Iron Mike won't go for that. He doesn't pay that much attention. Does he even know she's here? I think she's hard to miss. Someone's she's out there. The what? There's no one here. Maybe she got lines the back of Something's out here. Did you see anything? What's up? What's up? Yeah. That was a rock. Rock? It's here. Gotcha. 
Now I got Spot it. it. That was a rock. Something's out here. What'd you find? I saw something. Hey there, how's it going? Hey. Gotcha. Come on out. <laughs> what the? Something's here. You see anything? Hey, you! Damn it! Wait, wait, wait! That was a rock. What's up? Something's here. Anything? <laughs> what? Something's moving. Yeah, I thought I saw someone. Was that a rock? <laughs> Wait, was that a rock? You got me. Now I got you. What was that? What? Something's out here. Oh, shit. Iron Mike. Schizo. Son of a bitch. Like they were trying to scalp it. Raymond? And the men we buried? They were butchered, Mike. Butchered. Christ, it took us three hours to rake up all the body parts. I didn't want to leave him for the force. Hey, Raymond. Hey. It's Carlos, and you know it. We gotta hit him back, or the Rippers are gonna... Rip Schizo, leave it be. Just leave it be. And what about the next group, Mike? And the next? Hell, Carlos is already pushing into rogue camp. Camp Pioneer? There's no proof of that. They're moving up north. I heard one of those Radio Free Oregon broadcasts. Claims they got hit by Rippers. So now you're listening to that nut job, Cobra. Well, he may be a nut job, but I think he'd know a ripper if one was coming at him with a butcher. 
What the? Something's here. How's it going? They're not here. But you can go in and see for yourself. We'll come back. You know, Addy don't like it, you snooping around in the business. Hey, you said it. Not me. I'm not laughing. Now, come on. Come back later. There it is. I, I just gotta to find a way inside. Well, it's just a Addy, Addy, Ricky, Why? You trying to get with them? Or is this going in your back? And what about the oh, next man? Got it. Carlos is already pushing into road camp. How's it going? Ah, damn it. <laughs> Hi, Ricky. Hi, Addie. Uh, I don't want any trouble. So if you ladies just step aside, I'll show you. No, no, no. What, what the hell are you hell doing, doing in my no, infirmary? Uh. Oh, are you going to shoot me now? <gasps> oh, wait, wait, wait. There's a code, right? You can't shoot a woman unless you have to. Well, now you have to. Ah, shit. Okay, look. Why don't you just let me explain? Check what's in the cooler. What are you selling narcotics for Tucker now? You know, when you brought me that girl, I thought you had changed. But clearly you haven't. No, it's not narcotics. What? It's antibiotics. Boozer's sick. He's got blood poisoning. I had no place else to go. Blood poisoning? What happened? Does it matter? I fucked up. Bring him in. Go and get him. Bring him here. No, we can't do that. Yes, we can. Look, I don't care who he is, and I don't care what Iron Mike thinks. When a man is sick, a man is sick. We have to look out for each other. Baby is all we got. Come on, I'll give you a ride. Which way we headed? You remember there was a small camp when we first rode into the valley? Yeah, I remember. You call this a bike? It may not be a fancy drifter bike, but it gets the job done. Get on. brought in Lisa are you, are you gonna take me to see her no oh, god damn it Ricky what what the hell why not I can't she's not here wait wait hold on for a second where is she a few days ago schizo assigned her to a scavenge run she and three others headed over to the road camp to look for supplies they came back without her you're telling me they left her they left her out in the shit they didn't leave anyone. They said she ran off. Jesus! It could have been anything. Wolves, freaks, rippers. Choose your poison. And what? What? What was Schizo thinking? Sending her out on a supply run? Everyone's gotta work, Deep. That's the deal, and you know it. I don't believe this shit. What? She'd been surviving in Marion Forks for years when I found her. Yeah, then maybe you should have left her there. Who's there? Hey. Get back, don't make me blow your goddamn Who's head there? off. It's me. No, get back! Oh. Hey. Hey, it's, uh, it's Ricky. <laughs> you remember me? I rode with you guys a year ago. Ricky. What? Tomo? Yeah. That's right. Tomo to Lost Lake? 
Yeah. Yeah, man. Hold on. That's right. How, how are you doing there, loser? Are you doing uh, all right? Just PG. It still didn't give you the right to steal our shit. Are you kidding me? Look at his arm. What was I supposed to do? Huh? I don't know. Maybe ask. Jesus. Look at you guys, the biker boys. The most badass drifters in this shit, right? And now you come back crawling to Iron Mike. Oh, wait. If he'll let you. <laughs> come on, just help me get him back to Addy. Let's go. Come on, pal. I don't need your help. <clears throat> Ricky. Yeah, Boozer Ricky. Wait, where, where are we going? Addie said... She's agreed to, to take a look at your arm and, and see what she can do. What? No. No, you're not taking me to some goddamn camp. I can ride, damn it. Not sa- oh, Damn it. Boozer, it's just for a few days. Get some shit for your arm and then- No. You know what it's like there, Deke. No, you're not thinking straight. This isn't the Hot Springs. This is Lost Lake. Iron Mike. Remember him? Iron Mike? He was gonna get us killed. You said. That was a long time ago. They built the place up. They, they got more people. We're all gonna fucking die. We'll be long gone before anything like that happens. Camp's got the only dock in a hundred miles. Now, Addie, just, look, she'll take care of it. Just, just a couple of days. Yeah, then we ride the hell out of here. Right north, like you said. Get the hell away from all this. Yeah. Yeah, we ride north. Leave all this shit behind. Okay, so I'm gonna go back and check on him and make sure he's okay. Coward. Yeah, you got that right. Well, how long? And until he can ride, I mean. You mean how long do you have to be here? Look, we have antibiotics, but it's not enough. If Iron Mike lets you stay, your friend will have a chance. So what happened? How'd he burn his arm like that? We ran into some rippers south of Belknap. Guess they... They didn't like his tattoos. 